Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to make a Android augmented reality app using Unity. So the first step is going to be just checking your install, making sure you've got the, the newest version. I've not quite the newest newest version, but I do have the newest long-term support version. I'm going to click on the cog and just say add modules and just check that you've got the Android build support installed. If not, you'll need the Android build support with the Open GDK and the Android SDK. And then it'll just take some time to install that. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, close it down because I don't need to do that. I'm gonna create a new project. So a new project, uh, so this is gonna be my, this option use the 3D core because this just gives me a stripped down version. So I'm not gonna be tempted to use the AR core. That puts a lot of extra stuff that we just don't need just yet. Um, I'm gonna call this uh, video game, video game AR01. Uh, I like to always number my projects. Uh, I've already got a sensible folder. Press create project and then we'll be back when this is finished creating. Okay, so here we are three or four minutes later. I'm into Unity with my project. Uh, I'm gonna delete the camera. We don't need that one. I'm going to go to my Windows and Package Manager and I'm going to need to use the AR course. If I just go on to um, Unity Registry and hopefully you should be able to see it in yours as well. So there's, I don't want the whole AR packages again, so I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna find my AR Foundation. Uh, yep, that's the one I want, so I'm going to install that. Um, and I'm also going to install the Google AR Core once that's finished installing. Okay, it's asking me to restart, so of course I'm gonna press yes, otherwise you don't know what unforeseen problems may happen. Okay, we're back, so the next one is to look for the Google um, AR. If I go zooming past it, yep, there we go, Google AR XR plugin. So again, we'll install this one. Okay, that's that installed. So our next setting is we are going to go onto our file, build settings, um, and right now we're setting up for Windows. Well, we don't want Windows, we want Android. Um, and I'm going to leave those settings as they are for the moment until I press switch platform. So again, it's gonna take a bit of, of reconfiguring. Okay, so we're going to go into our player settings. Um, and we'll start at the top. It says company name, default company. So I'm just gonna change mine to L and C for lights and clockwork. It's already got the product name from the name of the project, version one. I'll leave that as it is. Um, I could at this point have a texture, but I've not got anything ready to go. I'll change that in a little while. I'll leave the icons and um, things alone, resolution, uh, leave those alone. Other settings, this way I want to start making some changes. Um, so I'm going to go onto Auto Graphics and untick this. And I know from previous experience, we don't want Vulkan. It gets very upset with that. So I'm removing Vulkan. Um, I may need to tick one of these, but we'll, we'll find out. It'll probably give us a warning if we do. So I'm gonna scroll on down. Are there any other changes I need to make? Um, I believe there are. I think I have to change this to IL2. Um, okay, so I need to make some changes to the support. There we go, so I'm gonna say ARM64. So I'm just ticking that. Target devices, um, okay, I'll leave that alone for the moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back. Uh, no, we're gonna come down to XR plugin. And I want to make sure we are going for Google AR Core. Click on this one. Um, and yep, that should be fine. Okay, so this may take a while the first time you press it. So before I go any further, I am gonna press build and run because the very first compile takes ages. Um, so I'm just press build, um, build for now. Um, I always create a folder called dist. And inside my distribution folder is where I'll just put video, video game AR01. <clears throat> excuse me, into my distribution folder. So there's my name of my app, pressing save. Um, okay, it's complaining, so have a quick look why it doesn't like that. Okay, so I forgot to change the app version. I knew there was something. So go back into build settings, into player settings. Let's come down here. Um, it's saying, where do I want to go? Android 5, way too old. So I'm gonna scroll on down. I'm gonna use 7.1 because I've already tested this. I know this one works. I'll close that, come back to press build save and we shall leave this to it for a moment and hope it doesn't take too long 
Okay, so that took about 15 minutes to compile, which is quite a while, but now that should be set and ready for us to create uh, Android apps. Okay, so I think we've got everything. We'll find out in a bit whether this works or not, whether I've missed something out. Okay, so our next thing is we need to now bring things in. So I'm going to go on to XR. Uh, I want an AR session. So that sets up the code for actually creating our augmented reality. And the next thing I need is our XR origin. So this has got our our um, camera offset and our actual camera in there with all the other bits that actually make it do stuff. Um, so I'll close those down for the moment. Now, this really is just off the back of the previous tutorials I've done using the simulation. And the reason I do the simulation is it's just much quicker to press play and test things than it is to keep constantly exporting it to Android and watching it copy across. Okay, so um, in good old Blue Peter fashion, for those old enough to know what that is, I've already created a whole bunch of assets and all I'm really doing is I'm dragging them across from one of my old from the older project into this project. So it's all of my images, it's all of the prefabs I've created, it's the image library. So I'm not going to be explaining every step of the way. I'm just showing enough to get a very basic AR thing working for Android. Okay, so I've um, oh, it's still trying to do things. It's compiling the scripts that I've just copied across. So it's still the same scripts from the previous uh, tutorials, which are available on my GitHub and the listings below. Um, so I'm going to click on XR Origin. I'm going to go into my Unity uh, video game things. I'm going to my scripts, and I'm going to grab the image tracker. So I've got the XR Origin. Actually, I also want the image. Oops. I want our. Which one do I want? There we go. I want our AR Tracked Image Manager. So this is the one that's going to load the library up of pictures to actually follow. So I want to be able to look for images of, of my Centipede and ET game and Frogger game. So I've already created it just here, but to show you how I did it in case you haven't watched the previous tutorials, I'm just going to go on to XR. I can create a reference image library. Uh, this then comes up here and I can just go add image. So I could say select and just choose my ET picture. Um, I could then add another image. I'll be deleting this in a moment anyway. Um, and it's my centipede picture. Now if you know the size, if you know the size of this image, do click it and type in the actual thing in meters. Um, I doubt you'll be measuring it in meters, but do make sure you get the accurate down to centimeters and millimeters, etc. And it can it can improve the tracking quality. So that's me creating our reference library. Obviously I'm going to delete this because I've already got one. So I'm just going to grab that, delete. Click back on my XR origin. So this is where I drag my library across, my video game image library. And again, that's what mine looks like. I have the four pictures that I'm looking for. Okay, so I've got the image tracker. Let's we'll close these down so it doesn't get too overwhelming. I'm now going to go onto my scripts and we'll drag my image tracker. Oops. I'm going to drag my image tracker on. So this is the bit where what when it sees the image from the camera, what 3D model do I want to launch? Um, I've also got the AR UI, but I'm not going to use that for the moment, even though it should be exactly the same, but I'll set it up in a moment, but I'll not go the whole distance with it. So I want to add my prefabs. I know I want four because I've got four images. Going back into this, I'm going to drag my centipede uh, prefab on. And again, if you've not watched the previous tutorials, go back and watch at least the first one and two on multi-image tracking. Um, but again, if you're, if you're not sure, these have to absolutely match the names of the of things you're tracking. So if you notice, I've got ET, Frogger, Pressure Cooker, Centipede. Spelling, grammar, uh, uppercase, lowercase, etc. matters. So again, we'll have a quick look. So you can see I'm, I'm matching type like for like. So if they don't, do rename them so they are correct. Because I've got this info box, uh, that was just the information that if I did click on it, it would pop up. I am going to create a canvas so it doesn't crash. So I'm just going to go UI, uh, I'm going to click on Canvas, I'm going to go on to my, um, e, I'm going to recreate a UI text, I'm just going to zoom out, nope that's zoomed in, there we go, there's my text box, I think I'm missing a little bit still but I'll come back to that in a moment, so I've got my text, uh, I'm just going to put, that's where my title's going to go, oops, I forgot to do this bit, import TMP, there we go, I need to press that because uh, I need to import the Text Mesh Pro libraries so that this actually works. There we go, there's my title. Um, so I can now click on my XR Origin, I can drag this text across, so when it sees something, it can put the title and it can change the title. 
Okay, so I've just um, I just pressed play to make sure it was actually going to do what it should do without throwing the compile errors. Um, and we can see I've got the tracking data. Um, there's no tr there's no compile errors just now, so that should be okay. Uh, I'm just going to come back to my canvas. Oops, too far. Uh, because I just want to move my title to the top left corner. So I'm just going to drag it up there. I'm going to come over to this side and just lock it into the top left. So if I move things around, it should stay in that top left corner of the canvas. Um, I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my XR origin, which is in the zero, zero, zero coordinates. And just to make sure things are there, um, I'm going to just drag a... No, do I need to drag a cube on? No, this should be working now. This should be working just fine. So our next step is I'm going to turn my mobile phone on. My mobile phone is plugged in. Uh, make sure it's in developer mode. I'm going to go on to my file and build settings. Um, it says default device. There we go. My phone is there. If yours wasn't, just press refresh. But again, your phone does need to be in developer mode. So now what it should be able to do is if I run this program, it should compile the APK. So build and, build and run. It's asking me what I want to do. Yep, the APK. Press save. Uh, yep, I want to replace it. It's now going to compile this. Uh, I didn't save change the scene. Yes, of course I do. I should have saved before pressing any of these buttons. It's going to start building it, and once it's finished, it will copy it across to the phone. I recommend don't let your phone go to sleep while this is doing it, as it can get a little confused. Okay, so as we can see, this is now working. It took a ridiculous long time to compile, so I think I shall be looking and see if there's a way which we can optimise that. Um, so the next steps would be obviously to now add interactivity but that is exactly the same as from the previous tutorials so if you want to be able to click on these objects go back and watch those where I've talked about augmented reality with the user interface with the yes with the user interface and you can see I've got little bits of code with with lists and things and um, physics and ray casting and that's on the previous videos um, so if you found this useful, please do of course subscribe, do like, leave a positive comment below and if you've got a suggestion for a future video, uh, of course leave that below as well. Um, I think that's all we need for now. I'm sure there's something else I want to say, but I'm sure that'll do for the moment. Okay, uh, that was it. Yep, if you want to now change your icons, you can because now I've actually imported all my graphics. I can go on to my default icon, select. Uh, and I should have got my little thumbnail just there. Yep, there we go. So now that's what you would see on the on the desk, well, desktop, phone top of your app instead. Um, okay, so I shall leave that there for now. That should be enough to get you going to make your own fully interactive Android app. I shall see you in the next video.